I feel like there's some useful information here and uh, some shortcomings of the charger as well. You'll see what I mean when the video gets rolling. I didn't realize if you have an EV and you have a charger mounted to your wall, which was in my garage, that's where the EV is going to live. So my garage sucked because there was always this truck in the garage in the way. It seems like a problem, but I'm making it sound like a problem. It's not because now it's outside charging at a fraction of the time that it used to charge in the garage, which was even still totally acceptable. Charge Station Pro. The only thing is, <laughs> like, look how easy this comes off. So you gotta install each of these yourself when you put this in. <laughs> it just falls off. It's pretty sweet. Oh, she got the quick disconnection. Kind of sucks. It's got a big chunky handle, nice girth on the wire. Today we're gonna to talk about the Ford Charge Station Pro. Guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. So first off, clear the air. This does not cost thousands and thousands of dollars to install, like what you may have read on the internet or have been suggested by certain contractors who come to take a look after you receive your charger. This costs about a few hundred bucks of materials and three hours of time for a qualified electrician to install. In the video, we're gonna unbox the charger, install it on the house, and plug it into the truck. See what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below, and uh, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Enough jibber jabber, let's get into the video. Today, we got the Ford Charge Station Pro. I'm gonna unbox it, and then show you guys how it gets installed. What are the benefits? Is it worth it for you? Is it worth it for me? Let's get to it. So, got our instructions here. Shows us what to do and why to do it. Now let's get to the good stuff. Look at that. Oh, it's actually super light too. This thing probably weighs like nothing, um, like a few pounds, if that. The thing that weighs the most is uh, this sucker right here, the wire. As you can see, real meaty girth on the wire there. So that's gonna be the bulk of our weight. But looks like you can wrap the wire right around the back of it here. We'll see when it's installed, but it looks like it would just hang kind of like that. And then uh, ugh, plug in there to rest. So pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. She got the quick disconnection. Now I saw another video on this and guys were saying that these tabs in here are very brittle and uh, not the best. It just falls off. Hopefully, they're all there, but, oh. Hopefully they stay on better, but like, yeah, it should be, oh, I see. Yeah, so it kind of sucks. So I'm gonna put like a two-way tape on it or something like that in order to uh, fasten it down to the cover a little bit better. Anyways, our electrician's here. He's hooking up the wire to run to this because you've got to run like a really thick boy to get the max out of this thing. So he's doing that right now. We've got the plate we're going to mount up outside to the side of the house. So one of our biggest things was to figure out where to mount the charger. I know Meg wanted it mounted around here, but I think over here is better because by the time you back the truck up, if it were like here, the tailgate would be around here and it blocks my internet to the garage. So. That's no good. But if it's here, the truck's forward, it's gonna be better. So we're gonna do that. So this is a template it comes with to, uh, it's kind of like a mounting plate that you fasten to the house and then you can mount the charger to the plate. So put it right under the, there's a little pot light in the soffit there. I don't know if you can see it, but it should look pretty good. We'll get a closer look at the back here. This is where the wires will come through from the house into the unit itself. And um, once we get to that point, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside, how it gets hooked up, and um, I'll get the specifics of what wire we used, why we used it. That's not my department, that's the electrical professional. So we'll get him to explain why we went with what we went with. But uh, right now we're wiring it up so we can get the max effort from the charger with the current setup that we have in the house. So it should be pretty good. This should take us from charging like, say like 50% overnight to 
half the time. So it would be from like zero to full, like overnight. So that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, pretty big game changer as far as truck goes. We're ramping into winter here. I feel like I've already seen a decline in the battery life. However, I don't know if that's weather or if it's because we've both been driving the truck. For a while there, I was really watching my power delivery gauge, trying to get the best mileage out of the truck and most efficiency I could, just because I wanted to see with the 24 inch wheels and it being lowered, if it would really you know, hurt mileage that bad. But I've been seeing people with stock ones get even worse mileage than I'm getting with big, heavy 24 inch wheels and 305 tire and all that. So anyways, we'll get back to the charger. We're gonna fasten the mounting plate to the side of the house. It's actually outside right now. He's gonna run the wiring, and then we can install the Charge Station Pro. These are nice billet aluminum. Oh yeah. As long as they fit there, then better than like the little one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and level. A true professional. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Because then that'll go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's here. perfect. Probably fights you. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Screws right there. Oh yeah, so they just go and these guys lay in. Yeah, they lay on right in the blade. So it's just four, two here, two here, T20 Torx. So you gotta install each of these yourself when you put this in. <laughs> no, no. So it's just the three wires. I don't know the names of them, but red, black, and nothing. That's it, really. And then, so they got this little dial here where you can set, it's got numbers one through nine and seven is like the max charging. I guess it's a generic piece they put in. We got it set to seven, so it's charging in about 10 minutes. So the cover has like a little rubber O-ring gasket in it. If you've tuned in before, you know that me, I like my Loctite. So I'm gonna put Loctite on every screw for this little project. Just a little dab on each bolt. That way I know that that stays tight. The weather seal stays tight and the weather stays out of it. Yeah, the plastic. That's what makes it look like the real deal. Oh, there you go. Woo wee! Oh yeah, looking nice. Meg's gonna hate it. Super nice fitment, and this thing doesn't jiggle, and it barely moves. Hopefully, it works really good. Um, because it's there now, so. But I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks better than, uh, you know, having the dryer plug and, or having like the, yeah, the dryer plug and then the, or a stove plug and then a little charger and then a hose reel. I think that looks much cleaner, so. Pretty good. Very happy. I feel like they messed up on the length of this cord. Um, and also like, it just falls off, so not the best. Um, we'll need some some two-way tape for this because it, it barely barely stays on. Like when you're wrapping the cord up, if you hit this or whatever, it can pull off so easy. So probably need to put some adhesive or something to get it to. Uh, Get it to stay. Maybe just at the top. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but um, it's not great. <laughs> we'll say that. And then like even this, like I don't know. If it's windy, I don't want to be hearing the charger rattle on the side of the house, which you probably will. We live in a really windy area, you can probably hear it now. Um, anyway. That's about it. Quality is the, looks nice, but doesn't, I don't know. They should have put this, this plug holder thing like on the side or something. That way, you know, it's out of the way, it's, it's plugged in, it would be sealed up. Even if they put like a grommet here to hide all the wiring and stuff, cause we get winter and rain and all that shit stuff, you know? So whatever, we'll see how it goes. What do you think? <laughs> All right, so many hours later, we're gonna do what? Let's get in right here. 
we're gonna plug this in right here so knock her open you gotta flip that down now so So now we got the two big thingies in the bottom there, plus all the round ones. Here we go. Ooh, it's charging. Okay, here let's let's check, buddy. We're gonna go inside the truck, mm -hmm. and it's gonna show us. Don't mind the mess here. We we did some construction. Like all this was added on, so. Yeah, here, and you can sit. Oh, here we go. Look at this 100% charge at 3.33 a.m. from 34%. So from 6.30 p.m. to 3.30 a.m., it will charge the 66% that it's needed. That's a lot faster, actually, because before it would have been sometime in the afternoon tomorrow. So I think that's, that's pretty cool. There it is. Look at that. Bring your gas pump to the house, eh? Charge Station Pro. The only thing is, this, like, look how easy this comes off. It's, uh, like, you just barely touch that thing and it falls right off. So, they could have done better on that. Put it on. I feel like wind would knock this thing right off the charger. Well, that's cool. It shows you that it's charging here just the same as it shows you on the truck. Oh, I'm in the way. Oh, no, no, no. You can't go this way anymore because we got this. We got the gas pump pumping. Yeah, it's not gas. It's a charge, but she's charging. So pretty slick. I'm really excited that we have this now. Don't have to pull it into the garage to charge because that was not ideal, right? Nope. Nope. Sure wasn't. Sweet, right? Yep. Yep. Boom. Nice. So tell me, if you could run a wire for a stove plug for a few hundred dollars or run a wire for this charge station for a few hundred dollars, what would you have done? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's worth wiring up this thing? Because I absolutely, I think it was, and it was probably the best thing we've done for the truck since we've got it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, subscribe, share it with a friend, and click the like button, even that little bell if you want. Click them all, just click it all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.